Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Though it's the dead of winter here in New York, I find myself dreaming of warm weather and tropical drinks. I've been craving something spicy and tart and remembered one of my favorite drinks, the Whiskey Passion Fizz from John George's Spice Market. While I was working there, I probably made a million of these, but there was a reason it was such a popular drink and never left the drink menu, no matter the season. The original is made with a chili and passion fruit syrup, George Dickel bourbon, and a splash of ginger ale. I'm going to tweak the original recipe just a bit and swap out the ginger ale for fresh ginger and also add a chocolate element. Passion fruit and chocolate are just perfect together, so I wanted to incorporate cacao nibs into the mix. However, I don't want to dull the brilliant orange color from the passion fruit, so I will instead be infusing the bourbon with cacao nibs. Instead of using George Dickel bourbon, I'm opting for Elijah Craig. I find it has a bit of a maltier flavor, as well as some really nice vanilla notes that will work well with the chocolate. First thing you will need to do is preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Then scatter an even layer of cacao nibs onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm only making a small batch of chocolate whiskey just four ounces, so I will only be using a tablespoon of cacao nibs. After the oven is preheated, bake the cacao nibs in the oven for around 20 minutes. They will smell absolutely amazing when they are ready. You could skip this step if you like, but the infusion process will take much longer. By toasting the cacao, the oils will be released faster. I like to add the whiskey to the cacao nibs while they're still warm. Then I just give them a little stir before covering and setting aside to infuse. This will need to infuse for about six to eight hours. If you do not want to toast them, I recommend letting the infusion go for 48 hours before extraction. I just use a mesh strainer to strain out the cacao nibs and keep it in a glass jar to store it until using. For the ginger chili passion fruit syrup, I will first make a simple syrup. I'm adding a quarter cup of white granulated sugar to a heat proof container. Then I will add the same amount of boiling water and stir until the sugar has dissolved. Next, I'm going to prepare one inch of ginger. I'm going to remove the skin by using a teaspoon. Then I'll just roughly chop it into smaller pieces. After the ginger, I'm going to cut one finger chili. I was going to use two, but this one was really spicy, so I will just slice it lengthways to cut away from the core, which is where the bulk of the seeds and membranes of the chili are. That's the spicy part. I'm going to discard most of the seeds and then proceed to give the chili a rough chop. Now, all that's left to do is blend everything together. I'm going to first add the simple syrup, followed by a half cup of passion fruit. Next, I will add the chili pepper along with some of its seeds. After the chili pepper, I will add the ginger. Then just blend on high 
for around two minutes or until the chili and the ginger have been completely pulverized. Once everything has been blended together, I just want to strain it to remove all the larger particles. This syrup looks gorgeous and smells so tropical and delicious. I'm just going to use my bar spoon to drain as much liquid as I can from the pulp. You can save the pulp and add it to rice or any other dish you want to spruce up with a spicy and fruity taste. Now, I'm just going to transfer this to a bottle and store it in the fridge to cool down. The syrup should last a week or two in the fridge. Now, we are all set to build the cocktail. The cocktail recipe is really simple. First, I will add an ounce and a half of the ginger chili passion fruit syrup to the shaker. Next, I'll add an ounce and a half of the cacao infused bourbon. Now, just add the ice, then I'll give it a good 10 second shake. Now I'll double strain the cocktail into a rocks glass over a large ice cube. For garnish, I'm adding a lime wheel for a pop of color. And then just for looks, I'm going to add a small sprig of baby's breath. Be careful not to consume baby's breath as it is not an edible flower. And there you have it my version of the Whiskey Passion Fizz, without the fizz, of course. It's spicy and tart with just a hint of sweetness and a bit more depth from the fresh ginger and the cacao-infused bourbon. While the original is fantastic, I really like the additions I've made to it. It really does taste like summer in a glass. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all again soon with another cocktail video. Have a great week!